Welcome to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I'm Cody. We are continuing the fast motion run through of about six more videos here that I recorded originally without any microphone enabled. Just completely unplugged while I was going. And day 39, most of what we're doing here in this is going to be mining copper. I'm going to stop for a couple of points where it kind of pops more than just the immediate rock that I'm cutting. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just chopping away. Nothing really exciting. Uh, and base building after this. So I start building up the land here in a little bit just to try to get to these parts that are still not quite leading to a chain reaction. Um, after having carved out all the dirt, go to the top, go to the bottom, just chop in as many places as I can. And, uh, yeah, with the idea of getting this entire set of copper done back to my base at some point, which I'm going to build a path and, uh, carry back with a wagon be later. And then I'm going to be moving everything from my, uh, old base to the new location. And most of that is like, you know, just not that fascinating. So it's going to be, I think, a little better to kind of sped through it. There we go. There we go. So that was half of it popping off in one little chop that I just kind of stopped for there. And you can see just things all scattered on the ground. What I'm hoping for in all these times is that I get lucky, find a place where it was easy to get the dirt off from around and... Just kind of chop a couple of times and the rest of the whole thing falls. And uh, it's almost it for this entire cap here. This entire mine is pretty much empty. And I'm like thinking about where I'm going to build the path to get it back right there. Day 40. My bees are happy. Just needed to get more honey to eat. Make sure I don't run out of everything. Keeping my stamina foods pre carrots. And, uh, yeah, so this, I think, is the last couple of uh, hits I need to do on this here copper mine. I think this is a nice pop. There it is. Showering down rocks and copper all around. Phew! So, you know, it's a lot of dirt digging, and it's, no again, another one of the things that... Could have been less time just going straight at it, chunk by chunk, but just exploring, just doing more interesting things. And uh, yeah, here I'm going to do the cart building. So I've kind of got everything I can carry uh, without being overloaded. Just come out here and build a cart. And I didn't want this guy to be in my way while I'm building the cart, you know, but he was, so took him out. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't the cart building part. This is the trail building part. So yeah, go ahead and just zoom through this. We're taking a trail all the way back, kind of along the border, finding some raspberries. Yum, 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 yum. And uh, I'll come back, I said, with my cart, pick up this extra wood, because I'm going to build a bridge, but not quite this run through. I'm going to build a bridge when I actually bring the cart back. So this is kind of chopping down individual trees. I found I came a little further south than I wanted, but that's okay. Putting a little bit of a ledge through the river, but you can't go all the way until you bring extra rocks and all that. So, But I'm actually going to come back and build a bridge there. Smoothing that one out, and then we got to the end here. There we are. And this is the base and the stones, and we're still just going to continue with our path and... I brought enough stuff to get it started here, so I'm building my coal pits and everything, and, well, sorry, my smelters, so I can smelt what I got already. Doing bag movement here. Got the things I need to build the cart, some nails and wood. Oh, oh there we go. Putting little things around. <laughs> oh, no, a troll fight. <laughs> hey, buddy. Aw. Yeah, yeah. Funny. Didn't need him coming over and messing with everything. 
He was on his way to, though. Day 41, it's time to get my cart going. There we go. Cart, grab the things and put it in there. And uh, yeah, I think this is a part where I just go ahead and slow down for a bit just to show the cart pulling process. You know, I don't know. Been building up to it for a while. Not a full cart by any means, but also didn't want a full cart. But also didn't want to make multiple runs. And eventually I'll probably be doing a little bit more in this Black Forest. Although as I've discussed earlier, I'm probably not going to fully build out bronze gear. Uh, armor. I'm going to try to go for troll armor, fully upgraded. Um, and get that troll armor going in this episode. A little later. But yeah, nice little run back. Just kind of show you the trail that I built earlier. Not perfect, but uh, it's good enough to get a cart around. There's going to be a few inclines, but not anywhere near overloaded, so that's fine too. Hello, bush right in the middle. Raspberries there for me to pick later. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of an incline, but didn't slow me down too much. Bag's not too full. Okay. Oh, and this was fun. So the piggy is pushing the cart. He gets kind of caught up in the wheel. And even though my, uh, look at that. Even though my run's running out, I'm getting pushed by the piggy. So it's as if I'm running while I'm walking to regenerate my uh, stamina. But he does come out. I think I try to either look at him or see there. He's right at the back of the cart pushing. It's really useful. And he's a very sweet little piggy. Um, but yeah, there you go. And he jumps over the top and bites me on the head. Alright, so I gotta think now, where do I put my cart? Am I just gonna outrun this pig? What am I gonna do? There he is again. Is he gonna push me this time? Not really, he's kinda... Oh, and then I get in this little thing and I'm like, I can't see and my cart falls off. <sighs> Alright. Get out my way, tree. Okay, pig. Sloppy pig fight that was. Okay, I'm trying to pick up my axe, get rid of uh, a few of these trees. So next time I pass through here, okay, <laughs> sweet, wildly. Look out, anyone in my vicinity. Oof, axe wielding maniac up here. Leaving litter everywhere. Okay, oh, I put the wood in here. That's it. I didn't go back to pick up the other wood. Ugh. All right. Keep on running. Keep on leaving litter. Along the coast here. You see my base in the distance? No, but you can see the uh, the boss stones there. My base is kind of set up in the distance behind it. in on my way around and uh, yeah I'm gonna look like uh oh there's water speeding back up so I'm just basically gonna build a bridge now takes a little effort takes a little time the storm starts at some point and yeah just trying to deal with the physics of the whole situation and the camera is what most of this is about see so, yeah, I'm like oh I'm in the water I can't put my pole where I want my pole there we go Phew. got the pole where I want the pole here comes the storm just fiddling. I need my pole where I want it. Okay, we're gonna have a little bend in it. Weird, but that's gonna work okay. Yep, I'm trying to get all these stands on my bridge. I can just at least not have it blow up while I'm running across it. Alright, stairs on both sides. Look at that. The water level's rising so much it's going above my brand new bridge, but only at the extremes. Alright, and there it is. Slow down here a little bit. See, so watch the water just getting right up to it. Okay, is it settled down a little bit? Settled down a little bit. Let's go for it. No problem. Get right across that bridge. All right, and then we just continue on this path all the way back to the base. And at this point, it's just going to be waiting for copper to be uh, done. Put a door here instead of the posts in the future. There we go. Make sure everything's closed. Make 
hear that lightning striking. The thunder. <laughs> Fire them up. Eat some berries. Get, eat some honey. Finding some more mushrooms. Getting more wood. Resting. Sleeping. Day 42. What am I trying to build here? Uh, oh, yeah. So now I'm like, oh, I can build my uh, sword. So I'm going to try to build it. I'm like, oh, I need more wood. And I don't have more wood. <sighs> Let's go, I guess, get more wood. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. Still don't have what I need. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, wood. There we go. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Chop it. Cut it. All right. Bringing it back. Oh, chop it. Cut it. Go. All right, now I'm ready to build that sword. I put the bronze over here. And now we've got our first bronze sword of the era. Gonna really speed up the whole murdering part of the game. Another thing, yeah, the last thing I'll do is build a bronze buckler and I'll probably try to level those up. Yum, yum, yum. We finally got carrots. Uh, but I'm going to plant every single one of them and get that going until I've got, I'm going to say, on the order of 100 seeds, 100 carrots. And then I'll just be recycling through, using 60, planting 30, that kind of thing, just so I can keep that ratio right. I think this garden will have room for 100. Looks like it for sure. And that's plenty, really. Uh... We'll see if I want to have more garden space when I get the radishes going. I guess uh, once I get to the swamp, start finding those seeds. Yeah, now after this, you know, I'll have 30. Exponential power to the three on the carrots. Oh yeah, that boar coming off the ceiling there. I forgot, I saw him earlier, but yeah, it's going so fast. I might have missed that. That's part of the stuff, some of the silly, funny things. Might be missing in a little bit of this, but I just didn't have the patience to go back through and do six videos worth of audio. Um, and I think I'll be much more gratified if I start working on this one episode at a time. It's just hard, that discipline, honestly, it's hard. It's so much fun. Yes, so I'm stopping here to craft my troll hide, pants, helmet. Uh, capes a little less useful. It's still really great for sneak. But I'll get to it last. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, pants and tunic and helmet. I'll be working to upgrade those and I'll be getting upgrades on my bronze stuff and my bow. All of that's pretty much the next thing. Uh, somewhere here in a little bit though in this the rest of this episode which we're about halfway through now um it's mostly going to be moving things to the new base and arranging it and kind of getting the comfort levels where i want over there so you know, here i'm like see everything's so cool oh. these things away arranging in the last minute here because, yeah, I think basically then I'm like, okay, let me put my gear away. And that's going to be stored, like, you know, unless I die and need it for that. Just, gonna, like, rearrange everything here. Next, there's this whole thing about the bronze armor just not really adding that much additional armor above maxed out troll. And being a really slow grind, of course, to get all the copper and tin that you need. So I believe that's the direction I'm going to go. There I am, just checking out my gear. Looking nice. Alright, so here we go. Day 43. Just kind of putting together. I got enough copper and coal, so I'm going to start making the copper and stuff. Just, just looking at my boars. Got plenty of them. Still don't need to take them for their meat or anything, so I'm just still leaving them there. I want to try to get a mixture of fine wood and wood and just sort of start building up those materials. Getting some of my berries while I'm at it. Plenty of them still going in the immediate area. All of the places kind of cleared off. 
And just noticing how full everything is. Um, what am I trying to make? Oh, the buckler. So yeah, I get my basic bronze buckler going, which is great. So now I've pretty much got the basis of everything I want to work on toward the elder. This needs upgrading, get some trolls. We'll be getting more uh, bronze. I think I've got a lot of copper over here. It's probably tin time. Ah, went to extend my uh, surrounding space in the black forest over near my mining operation. Just kind of looking for building up various things. Core wood's definitely one thing I'm going to want a lot of over time, and just wood in general. I'm just getting blueberries. I'll leave these out here, come back and pour them in a little bit. Still have this as my portal base. Fort around it. Continue into blend of coal and mining ores. Oh, sure is crowded in here. Oh. Things are starting to go into the bucket they don't belong in. Okay, I want to build a fermenter as well. It's going to be another copper thing I'm going to need. I can start making potions when I do that. So I think the next thing is the fermenter. And any other upgrades will be as I go. Day 44. Continuing to process that ore. Oh yeah, I left that wood over there, I think I remembered. I think that was the first time I attacked something with my sword. Not getting in battles, just exploring. Blueberry, blueberry. I see a troll there that I'm just kind of like, nah, I don't want to mess with him. Because I want to get these blueberries, know where they are, and not have him destroy them. Gonna definitely need some more tin. Marking off a copper deposit that looks like a nice lip. Remembering to reset my Black Forest portal to make it clear. Oh, yeah, there's a troll cave I need to get him out. Right, get him back. Just putting stuff wherever I can for now. Yep, so now I'm like, okay, let me take a lot of stuff to my cart so I can move it all the way over to the other base. Alright, starting to pop things out of here, just destroying it. Filling up the cart, so I took out my comfort stuff, got one of the portals. I think the idea at first was I'm going to make an extra portal between the two, so I took out stuff to make a portal, is what I meant to say there. There it is, I'm trying to figure out where to put it, so I've given it a name, B1, Base 1. Uh, this is going to be used to transport between my base and my base. So, oh no, can't fit. Made a little hole there, brought my cart all the way over. I just kind of put the portal there so I can pop in and out of my place, grabbing enough stuff that I want. I'm pretty close. And so now I'm like running around like, where's everything? Where's everything? Okay, I think I'm going to put a kitchen over here. I think I'm going to put the storage over there. I don't know. Kitchen over here, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, storage over here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, basement. Right, basement. I'm going to put some things down there and some buckets. Buckets over here. Okay, let's just throw some buckets down in the way. And then later I move these. I'm like, wait, that's right under the fire thing. about it. So I move them, I'm rearranging them. Alright, now I'm starting to throw stuff in them. And in a way, just kind of lucky that I'm not getting attacked while I'm doing all this. I mean, the base here is fine. I just mean, like, no raids yet. Um, one thing I do start finding as I start moving in here is that things can see me. So when I start kind of moving in here and trying to rest... Uh, it just doesn't work. So yeah, I'm trying to move that fire there from the outside to the inside. All right, kill some bad guys in the surroundings. So yeah, pop the floor out, make my double fire. I'm starting to kind of build out my kitchen. Just kind of thinking about ventilation. Um, I'm still going to have some work to do there. I was noticing it was still smoking me out when I'm standing in front of it. So I'll work on that a little bit more. I'm just going to build one layer of shelves here. I'm starting to notice that like all the wood worn wood is still there and kind of weak. I probably need to deal with that. But yeah, just what goes where? Just sorting it. Not labeling it yet. There I am, kind of building it there, repairing all my worn wood. Alright, 
bring in even more stuff from there. There's some rock piles out there. I might come back and get them when I start building my rock, my rock walls. Getting in the food. Going in the miscellaneous. Most of, most of the stuff will just end up being stored in the basement for now, except for food. That's kind of what I concluded. Okay, got a little carrot farming to do. So yeah, it looks like here I'm putting down 30-ish or so. 45, maybe 50 carrot plants. So, yeah, taking off everything. So I'm like, I need extra space. I'm just trying to carry stuff and it's not that heavy. And if it is, I can just walk out to the portal or whatever. I need a kitchen. Figuring out where everything goes. Just kind of changing my mind, making more buckets. I'm just laying them on the floor everywhere. <laughs> and later I'm like, wait, maybe I need to stack them. Like all of this just like is a always an evolving thing for me. All the stuff you really never need. You know, I'm gonna put these here and then later I'm like, I can't walk here. It's like I want to have a walkable space where my forge and everything is. And I want my forge and my building things downstairs with my refinery and everything. So whole points to not have to walk far with the big heavy sets of metal. Um, ideally, I have space for, you know, two of everything. Two kilns, two smelters. Rain, which is, you know, see this guy, he can see me this whole time. And I start really noticing that when I try to get comfort because if you're seen by a monster or whatever then you won't keep up comfort all right you ever difficult how does this get placed not flat enough not enough space right, where do i want it i mean i was just all the way back and forth with this thing over and over i only got it somewhere and then maybe you have to relocate and stack my buckets hear that thunder doosh, doosh, doosh. Got that in there. So we were able to fit both in. It's just kind of a tight squeeze. So I feel like I already made a base. I made a base that I'm already outgrowing. That's because I'm trying to throw everything into this basement. Um, I'll, at some point, def, you know, be considering a little bit of a different geometry because you know you can make a lot with just a few subtle adjustments. So there we go. Here I'm going to like, okay, I can't rest. Because I'm seen, you know, okay, I'm seen, I can't rest. So, still seen, still seen, what do I do? I need ventilation, but I need windows. I need a view, but I need closure. So I'm just kind of making all these, trying to make all these sacrifices while there's uh, someone down below me, basically. Still seen, so. I just keep rearranging things, putting my bed close to the fire. And I'm making some food there. testing to see if it was smoky. Maybe a little bit of both. Making some Queen's Jam, probably. Yep, alright. So what am I doing here? I slowed down. I'm grabbing a portal stuff. Oh, uh, right. So this is where I'd get my comfort maximized and everything's kind of actually set. And I've got open windows, but closed windows. Just enough to, I think, work. And I think I see how I'm going to do ventilation. I'm going to knock that hardwood out and just kind of open that hole back up with a couple of vents. Yeah, so we got eight comfort now. It's great. Max in the game so far after I built that banner. And it looks like these things are working. It's kind of what I was dealing with was one is needing um, more space above it. So I build another chimney here. Uh, I'll be testing that out a little bit more when I get back into the next episodes. I'm trying to figure out the best place for this thing, and this kind of ends up being it. Over on the other side, it was a little too close to the wall. It doesn't really add anything to uh, comfort levels. And I was thinking about putting one over here, and uh, I just changed my mind. I was like, no, nah, I just need the one. So I do want to, I guess, you know, I can reuse that copper, but I thought, oh, I'll just use that copper for something else here. Not me too. Kind of checking out the whole perimeter. I'm going to run around the moat there. There's the place. Could have done a slowdown there, but there'll be plenty of 
time for me to get some glamour shots of the current base later. I'll start into the next episode of live recordings and playing. So excited by that. I haven't played since I've been dealing with this. Oh, well, there you are. So you get a little get a little view during this log out part. And that's the base from the back. K47, and I've got my new base. I've got everything moved to it. I've got higher comfort levels. And I'm just kind of going out now and exploring some black forests. I was looking for uh, burial uh, chambers. I hadn't seen any uh, burial chambers in a while. And I absolutely want to get more certling cores for more, port uh, for more uh, portals. Yeah, the pack here. Carrot seeds. Always fun to find just free carrot seeds out in the wild like this. And then I found my burial chamber. So we're going to close this out with a real-time run through of the burial chamber. Or at least a minute and 40 seconds of it. I think I almost finish, if not totally finish in that time. I can't remember. Because now things are a little bit easier with an upgraded sword, buckler. I'm not too concerned if I run across any stronger uh, skellies, including the rancid remains. Thought I might have to try to remember that again, but it actually came quicker than usual. Don't want to leave behind any rubies or other things that are useless, but take up inventory. I want to make sure I get all those. That's what I was doing there. There wasn't any one, and I was like, well, that's kind of a relief, actually. See, there's some kind of useless rubies. I mean, I guess they're good for decoration. I don't remember if that actually requires a mod to put those on the hanger on the wall or runs that way in vanilla, but that's all I've really seen them useful for is to decorate something. Oh yeah, so here's a ghost, and I kind of just like, I'm half hitting the door, half hitting him. It's like, wasted my shots there, but still felt a lot less of a threat than before. Yep, so I think this is kind of just about it. I just kind of finish off this room. I go back to the, the stopping point and call it a day. Because I think I was running at my 30 minute limit there. Uh, just kind of, yeah, I walk over here and that's it. So uh, thanks everyone. We'll be getting back to the full live versions now. Next episode.